track has been destroyed, a fire raging out of control on and off since last night. Well, that's team coverage and the rest of the day's news coming up right now on the Channel 5 News Enforcer. Live on Channel 5, this is the 430 News with Ron Majors and Deborah Norville. Good evening. It's gone. Those words tonight from fire officials as the Arlington Park racetrack continues to burn out of control. As these live pictures from, or these pictures rather from News Chopper 5 plainly show, there is considerable damage to the major, to the clubhouse there at Arlington Park and the grandstand area. And despite the efforts of two dozen fire companies, the fire continues to rage on. Authorities say they may have no choice but to let the fire continue to burn. It is a fire that is bringing up a lot of questions. Because as Arlington Park burns, there's doubt about a million dollar race coming up and questions about how that fire started. Team coverage begins tonight with Channel 5's Mary Murnane live near the park. Mary? Roy, behind me is all that is left of Arlington Park racetrack. You can see the destruction, the devastation here. This spectacular blaze was, began burning in the early morning hours. It has continued to burn all throughout the day, and firefighters are telling us now that all they can do is wait till it burns itself that, out. Uh, Arlington Park racetrack, grandstand, and clubhouse is right now burning out of control. The uh, fire chief and the fire marshal advised me that there is nothing that they can do to stop it, and it will burn until it burns to the ground. It was not a happy moment for Arlington Park Racetrack's President Joseph Joyce. Earlier in the day, he had expressed optimism about this spectacular fire burning itself out. But as the grandstands were caving in outside, Joyce conceded that this once grand racetrack's future is now questionable. The blaze broke out about 2.30 this morning in the track's horseman's lounge. It spread to the track's post and paddock club and then quickly into the grandstands. 150 firefighters from 17 surrounding communities tried to bring the blaze under control, but to no avail. By late morning, thick black smoke and flames continued to billow and shoot from the grandstands. All firefighters can do now is wait for this blaze to burn itself out. here there have been no reports of injuries to either people or horses those horses are housed in stables about 150 yards from the fire scene separated by a concrete parking lot now obviously the jockeys and horse trainers here are anticipating heavy losses now the state fire marshal's office says that this is by far one of the worst fires that has ever hit the state they also say that at this point there is no way to determine whether arson is involved here because they cannot get close enough to investigate. Roy, Deborah? Mary, is there an apparent reason why the fire started up again this afternoon? Apparently there are many ducks within the grandstands here and, and dead areas where obviously in many fire situations fire spurts up. They're waiting uh, in fact for one of the back walls to cave in at this point. So it's a very dangerous situation here. Okay, right. thank you Mary. Channel 5's Warner Saunders has just returned from the track where he talked with many of the sports figures there. Warner? Yes, the plans and dreams are caving in for this year's Arlington Million Horse Race, which was to be even bigger and better than the one in 1984. Last year's Arlington Million was a great day for racing fans in our area, with John Henry, that amazing nine-year-old gelding, streaking across the finish line to the cheers of the capacity crowd. John Henry by two on the wire. As we stand atop of the Arlington Park Hilton Hotel, looking at Arlington Racetrack burned down, there is another sad commentary also. This entire complex loaded down with jockeys and grooms and persons waiting for the racing season to continue will be out of a job, at least for a while. What's next for them? Uh, that's what the question is being asked this morning. Uh, they want to know where... Uh where they're going to go, what the race meet is going to be, and of course, you know, all the administrative help, the racing secretary and the racing secretary's personnel and the valets, they're all out of...